it is time for the Gyra Cook Report Friday wrap-up. This is the episode that wraps up the previous week's episodes of the Gyra Cook Report. So if you weren't able to listen to one of them, this is going to give you a reminder of where those links are. If you go to the Gyra Cook Report .podbean.com. The link is there for the show notes for t for today's episode. And let's take a look at those. The Monday episode was about putting new apps on the smartphone. I recently acquired Shameless Brag, the Galaxy Note 8 phone. Love it. Great battery life, etc., etc. And three of the apps I put on there are Google Opinion Rewards, Ripple. Thanks, Kelvin Fagan, for telling me about Ripple. Great marketing tool. And the Cortana mic, which is, if you're familiar with Windows 10, you know about Cortana. It's a good one. It's a keeper. The Tuesday episode, let's take a look at that. See, on Tuesday, when we did SEO tips, we basically looked at a list of SEO tips that are from this website right here in the notes and the website online performance has got seven tips for SEO and they're all listed out right there in the in the links we've also got the links on the, the show notes give that a go if you want to maybe tweak and touch and look at your SEO, feel like the last year it wasn't really the right thing to have. Wednesday, we had a little fun. What's on our mind? Well, Wednesday morning, I get this idea, hey, I could hang the singing fish up and put them on the door of the white cabinet. And you can see in the image there that my singing fish collection, which now totals to five, I know, I know, it's a affection, okay? But then I posed the question, well, what songs do these fish sing? And some people responded back, well, I think that one sings this and blah, blah, blah. So I put, put together a couple quick audios of what the singing fish actually do. Click on those play buttons and then you'll know. Wouldn't that be a pearl of wisdom? Thursday, B2B Thursday, we looked at three different links. The first one is, I got a Google Form email, and I thought, Google Forms, they're free. I could set up the Gary Cook Report questions on a Google Form. So I did, and there's the link there. Give that a go. Make yourself more transparent. And Thursday Thoughts came up in the surf and Twitter and one of the links I liked, and I shared it here, was Thursday Thoughts. Every Thursday, they have a new topic to talk about with the hashtag Thursday Thoughts. And every Friday, they'll start looking for direct messages for suggestions for the next week's Thursday Thought conversation. And finally, the first state legal cannabis business owner elected into public office that's right, Stephen Ray Lee. There's a link to his page. I've uh, known this fellow for a number of years. <laughs> He's my youngest. And so it goes. Give that a look. Take a look at the new questionnaire for the Guy Cook Report questions. Fill that out if you got a second. The five that you pick or what we'll use for your interview. And it goes back to the form. Oh, and, and also, if you sit, set up a Google form, and I want to see the results. I thought, well, they're just going to email it to me, right? Nope. You go to Google Forms and select that form that you created. And then you look at the replies. And each individual's replies are listed there in the, in the Google Forms. So that's how you get to that. Thanks to the patrons who are patrons of the Guy R. Kirk Report. We appreciate your effort. Thanks to Fraser Ramsey, Eileen Smith, the Facebook group, Friends Just Chatting. It's a happy Friday to you. 
Happy Veterans Day to the veterans. Thank you for your service. We appreciate it. It's a wrap.